you know, you always, in, in Christian, if you're a Christian, you're always like, oh, how do I hear the voice of God? Like, yeah. let me pray and God's going to speak to me. And the hilarious part is, is like, I think God speaking to you is your intuition, is your voice. It's whatever you want to call it. It's your body. It's your voice. It's the, the, the power in you. It's, it's not feelings. It's the intuition and the deep voice that most people don't listen to. And for me, that was something that was super, like, a really big revelation from Worry Week as well. But it was like, literally, I felt like I heard the voice of God in me. And, and I was asking God, I was like, man, what is love? Like, I don't know what it means. I don't know how to love myself. And, like, I was asking him, and I heard it just through me. And it was, it was super weird. But, uh, like, yes, like, I think Fascinating. the voice of God is is already in most people. You just have to learn to listen to your intuition. And the more you don't listen to your intuition, whether, for example, it's that sixth sense where you're like, this is a dangerous situation, I need to leave, right? If you ignore those situations, you're almost shutting off the voice of God, intuition, the voice of you, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter, right? Everybody has it, no matter if you want to acknowledge it or not. Like, But that's what I would call it, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I've been recently tapping into that. I, I feel like my my faith in God has been restored, but I have a different conception of God now. Um, I'm curious, you ask God how to love yourself. Do you remember what that response was? Yeah, of course. So actually the question was, what is love? What is love? Okay. And, uh, and the thoughts behind it were like, and also my part of the answer was like, how do I love myself? But uh, the answer I got was that love is you. Like you were created in God's image. God is love. Then AKA you are love. And I just remember that because I was always seeking love from others. And I was always like seeking validation. I don't mention this a, a lot, but like when I was in the, I'm in the Philippines now and I, I go to a gym that's like the highest gym in the world. Like it's the best gym in the world. So only famous people go there. And I started, you know, connecting with these famous people in the hot tub. I'm talking about NBA players, like famous really? super actors. And I started becoming friends with them. And, you know, they start, we started talking on IG and stuff like that. And I realized it's like, at one point I was like, oh my God, like I'm getting back to the validation part where like I'm seeking love from others. So I just, I quit IG. Um, and you know, I, I uh, lost that connection or that contact to be able to talk to these people and, be their friends. I still see them at the gym every now and then, but as a recent Corona, it's been gone for like three months. But wow. my point is like, that was a big part of my life where I was seeking like love and validation and all this other things from people. And the answer from God was like, yo dude, you are love. You are creating my image, like learn wow. to love yourself. And that was one of the really big revelations I got from my life because like that's been the trajectory of my life. If you, if you know the six uh, human needs by Tony Robbins, mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was always love and connection. That's my number one human need. It always will be, uh, but yeah. <laughs>